हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू ट्वेल्व मिनट्स टू क्लैट एंड टुडे व्हाट इज गोइंग टू बी द टॉपिक टुडे टॉपिक इज टी एस डी बेस्ड केसलेट सो इन दिस सीरीज व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डू इज अ केसलेट बेस्ड ऑन टाइम स्पीड एंड डिस्टेंस तो टाइम स्पीड एंड डिस्टेंस बेस्ड आज कर रहे हैं मे बी इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डू अट बेस्ड ऑन पी एन सी परमोटेशन कॉम्बिनेशन वन डे वी विल बी डूइंग केसलेट बेस्ड ऑन टाइम एंड वर्क डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स वी आर गोइंग टू कवर Oh, why only strict to percentage based case slate? Although they are very dominant in the exam recent years, but it might be possible that they might give you another case slate which is going to be a new topic based case slate. So यहाँ पर हम लोग क्या करेंगे? One by one, we are going to solve case slate based on different different topics. And today's target is to do the case slate based on TSG. So काफी लोग बोलेंगे सर, अभी तो हम लोगों ने ऐसे question नहीं करे TSG VSG based. No problem. It's never too late for a new beginning in your life. So let's start this series where we are going to do topic-based case slate. So today, what is time-speed distance-based case slate? So one paragraph is given to you in this question. What is the paragraph saying? Let's understand first, and then we will try to solve it. So study the following information carefully and answer the questions that follow. So what is the information given to us? Car A, car B, car C. So basically, we have three cars with us. car a travels a certain distance in 6 hours and the distance traveled by car a is 16.66% less than that traveled by car b matlab kya hua sir car a 6 ghante travel karegi aur jo distance cover karegi wo 16.66% kam hoga kisse car b se similarly car b is going to travel for 7 hour 12 minutes sir 7 hour 12 minutes ko how to convert So, if you want to convert seven hours, twelve minutes, twelve minutes. So, if you want to convert into hours, you need to divide by sixty. So, that is one by five hours. So, seven hours complete and one by five. So, that becomes seven five is a thirty-five plus one, thirty-six by five hours. So, total time becomes thirty-six by five hours for car B. And car B is traveling for with a speed of fifty kilometer per hour. Similarly, for car C also something is given. So, can can't we draw a table like this? What is the table, sir? Car A, car B, car C. Their speeds, their distance, time. Let's write down all the things whichever we know, and let's try to solve the question. So we have already calculated for car B. Time is seven or twelve minutes, which is thirty-six by five hours. Let me put that first. So thirty-six by five hours is the time for car B travel. And what is the speed of car B, sir? Fifty kilometer per hour. Fifty kilometer per hour is the speed of car B. Can't we calculate this distance? Distance is speed into time, sir. So if speed into time is the distance covered by car B, so that is 360 kilometers. So now we have got the distance covered by car B as 360 kilometers, and the speed of car B is 50 kilometer per hour. Now let's move back to car A now. For car A, what is given to us? That car A travels a certain distance in six hours. So what is the time taken by car A? Six hours is the time taken. Plus one more information is given about car A. Car A is 16.66 percent less than car B. Distance travelled by car A is 16.66 percent less than travelled by car B. Now this thing I told you in the percentage classes, sir, 16.66 percent का fraction equivalent is one by six, right? So distance travelled by car A is going to be one minus one by six times of distance travelled by car B. Right? Why one minus one by six? Multiplying factor. If something is decreasing by one by six, multiplying factor shall be one minus one by six. So distance covered by car A shall be five by six times of distance covered by car B. That is something we have already calculated. That is three sixty. So six six the answer is three hundred kilometer. So car A must have covered how much distance? So car A must have covered a distance of three hundred kilometer. In how much time? In six hours. So what shall be the speed of car A? Distance upon time is the speed, sir. So same as car B. So car A and car B are traveling with the same speed, but for different time period. That is the why the distance covered is also different. I hope everything is clear till here. Now the last car which is given to us is car C. So car C travels 400 kilometer distance with twice the speed of car B. So 400 kilometer distance with twice the speed of car B. So twice the speed of car B. मतलब This must be traveling with a speed of 100 km per hour. And how much time car C is going to take? Time is equal to distance upon speed, right? So 400 upon 100 that should be four hours. 
so now we got all the information in form of the table and the final table looks like this so if we have all the information with us can't we solve the question yes now we are ready to solve the question first question on our screen now question here is saying is what is the ratio of speed of car a to that of car b so in this question we have to calculate the ratio and it is going to be very very easy why because the speeds are going to be same that means the ratio has to be 1 is to 1 that is b option has to be the correct answer for this particular question here now let's move on to the next question question number two problem number two once again i am saying once again i am saying please look at these lines along with it that would be very very helpful to you plus please pause the video and try to solve the question by yourself don't wait for my answer once you are done with solving then you can once again see the if there is any easy solution for this and definitely you will find an easy solution for this question so it's a request please pause and solve it by yourself first so i hope you have solved it now let's do it if the speed of car a is decreased by 2 km per hour so new speed of car a becomes 48 km per hour and the speed of car b is increased by 10 percent so speed of car b becomes 50 plus 10 percent of 50 is 5 so total speed become 55 km per hour find the differences between the distance traveled by both the cars in 4 hours so distance is equal to speed into time i hope everybody knows this so distance difference means we have to subtract the smaller one from the bigger one so what is the distance covered by car b speed into time what is the distance covered by car a speed into time since the time is same we can take the time common no need to solve anything because if you take the things common now the calculations are going to be very very easy for you but most of you what do what you do you solve 48 into 4 you solve 55 into 4 then you take the subtraction then you get to the answer no need to do it like this in exam please don't solve till the last till the last keep on moving into the next step please don't solve it most of the time things got cancelled out most of the time we take common just like we did it in this question i hope that's clear to you so let's move on to the next one that is problem number three connected with this so what this question here is saying to you is car d traveled 40 percent more distance than that covered by car a in 10 hours right sir where is car d we have only three cars with us car a car b car c so where is car d no problem at all car d is a new car for which they have given some extra information that car d traveled 40 percent more distance than that by car a in 10 hours so time taken to travel for car d is 10 hours but how much distance this car is covering so distance covered by car d is equal to 40 percent more than the distance covered by car a so car a is covering 300 kilometer so 300 plus 40 percent of 300 sir what is going to be 40 percent of 300 that should be 120 so total distance covered by car d become 420 kilometer in how much time this car is covering this distance sir time is equal to distance upon speed so distance oh sorry uh, time is sorry speed time is already given that is 10 hours so we have to calculate the speed so speed is distance upon time so that should be 42 kilometer per hour or b option has to be the correct answer for this question i hope i am clear on this question also just once you are done with the table once you have solved the data now the question are going to be very very easy if you know the basics of time speed distance only and only basic understanding of any quant topic will be checked in clat exam no need to do very advanced question from any topic because they will never ever come in your exam this kind of data will come this kind of structure will come in your examination right so be prepared for that now one question i am giving you homework let's see how many of you will reply to this question in the comment section so i will be waiting for your reply this is the last question connected with this so let's see how many of you are going to reply for this and before ending the session i need to tell you that we have launched a crash course sankal clash course if you want to join you can use the code akai to get some attractive discounts so there are everything in this chakundla scholarship 300 plus classes 40 mock tests 6000 test questions separate doubt session these are the numbers on which you can contact and get all the details to it. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the session. You learned a lot and don't forget to solve the homework question and give me the answer in the comment section. So I will be waiting for your replies. So thank you so much. Thanks a lot everyone.